at 40 wins. 35 of those coming by way of knockout against one loss and one draw. Fighting out of Karaganda, Kazakhstan. Tonight, he will attempt to make a record-breaking 21st middleweight world title defense. Ladies and gentlemen, Nami Gaspadam, please welcome the reigning and defending IBF and IBO middleweight champion of the world, the big drama show, Gennady Gennadyovich Golovkin, known to the world as Triple G. When we will have the national anthem played by our host country, the United States. Of the evening, 12 rounds for the middleweight championship of the world. Once again, here to give instructions, the referee in charge is Telus Asimenios. Gentlemen, we have received instructions to the dressing rooms. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Your belts are great, both of you. Shake hands and God bless. As Larry Merchant once asked about a fighter, will we see the Triple G of old or just an old Triple G? Here we go, 21st middleweight title defense for Gennady Golovkin, the spoiler. Camille Sharameta undefeated, but obviously the level of competition tonight is through the roof. Triple G in the gold and purple, the Lakers colors, Sharameta in the Polish red and white. How important is it for a Triple G to establish the jab? I mean, I think that's the best punch that he has in his arsenal. It sets up all his power punches. If he gets on that early, this could be a short night. No one is more accurate with their jab in all of boxing than Triple G, who lands 9.9 .9 a round. There's two of in a row, and two in a row right there. Make it three. And I'll quote Gabe Rosado on this. He said some of those jabs feel like right hands, like they're power punches. Once the most feared fighter in all of boxing. Some of that luster perhaps wiped off after the two Canelo no, fights. One punch, right? Not the boogeyman he once was, but still, many consider him to be the best in the middleweight division, 38 years old. Triple G looking very strong, very solid. Looked great at the weigh-in, looks good, looks like he filled in nicely here. His physique is fantastic. The best I think I've ever seen from, from Triple G. That speaks volumes coming off that very, very close fight against Sergey Dervianchenko. That was last October. We haven't seen him since. He's obviously been working. You said Sharameta has to push the tempo, has to be aggressive. You know, he started the first 30 seconds like that. He came out with a good, landed a good jab, pushed Triple G back. But once Triple G got on that jab, it's been all Gennady Golovkin going forward. Redness already on the face of Sharameta. IBF middleweight championship on the line. Sharameta telling us this was the biggest fight in Poland this year. Everyone in that country will be watching. I really like what I'm seeing from Triple G so far. This is, this is exactly what I expected. Him coming out, utilizing his jab, setting up his power punches. We haven't seen a whole lot yet, but you can see him analyzing. Right hand there scores for Sharameta. Triple G, of course, used to giant sellout crowds. Probably only about 100 people in here tops. We are in the bubble. Hollywood, Hard Rock Resort, and Casino. Good Ooh. uppercut. That may have scored to the body. And that froze Sharameta for a second. Oh, what a left hand. Sends Sharameta down just like Three, that. Four. And that will be it for round one. What an exclamation point for Gennady Golovkin. Great work so far. Tremendous left hook dropped him at the end. I want to see where that uppercut, we couldn't see from the, our vantage point. I want to see if that landed on the chin or the body. 
It was the jab show for about two minutes and 50 seconds of that first round. And then all of a sudden, Golovkin with a power punch sends Sharametta down to the canvas. Here we're going to see a replay of that left hook that dropped Sharametta right at the end of the round. Talk about putting an exclamation point on the end of a round. Comes up from a crouch position, comes up with the left hook. Crack Sharametta right on the on the eye there. Flash knockdown. He looked okay. Wasn't he, too rocked when he got up. He almost looked at Gennady Golovkin to say, what are you doing to me? How did that happen? So a 10-8 opening round for Triple G. And he appears to be back. Let's see how aggressive he is here in the second to go ahead and get Sharametta out of there. This was the mandatory opponent for Gennady Golovkin. But if he wins this, the world is his oyster. So many big fights available. Especially if he wins this in exciting fashion. If he looks like the Triple G of old, the price tag on that next fight is going to go that much more up. Good head movement there from Triple G. Let's bring in Gabe Rosado. You've been on the receiving end of one of those left hooks. <laughs> what are your thoughts? You know, Triple G's doing a great job establishing the jab early, power jab. And one thing he's doing, man, he's looping that right hand right by the ear in the equilibrium. That left hook, man, is like picture perfect. It's right, it's right on the money. All systems go for Triple G so far here. I really like what I'm seeing. He's, he's coming in behind the jab. Oh, again, Ooh. a right hand. Knocks Sarametta off balance, and he's holding on. Every time Triple G throws a power punch, there are repercussions. Right on cue from what Gabe said, that overhand right, that looping around the guard shook Sharametta. What must be going through the mind of Sharametta right now? Wow, he is what he what they will say he was. <laughs> well, as you know, the last thing to go for a fighter, if you watched any of the Rocky movies, is the power. Yeah, that's one thing that is not lacked in any of Triple G's fights. He's an extremely powerful puncher with both hands. Yeah, blunt force trauma. What differences have you seen from Triple G after leaving Abel Sanchez? to move on with his new trainer, Jonathan Banks. I don't know if I say I see anything different, but I see him mixing his offense and his defense very, very well, which I've seen in the past. He's got great, subtle head movement going right under the shots, just outside shots, setting up his power punches. He's wasting nothing. And that was a that was a shot on the ear. That is a knockdown, an equilibrium punch. His legs are rocked. Sharametta may not make it to see round three. Here we go. Golovkin, left hook, jab. You see Triple G loading up that right hand. It seems to just be a matter of time. The next time he clips Sharametta with a power punch, you got a feeling the Polish fighter is going down and may not get up this time. Oh, nice uppercut from Gennady Golovkin. He has been a menace since the opening bell, right hand on the ear. And that bell ringing can't come soon enough for the Polish fighter. 